Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sword Master Mode Galarian Forms Only. Um, we are jumping straight into the Articuno battle and it just decided, you know what, we're gonna throw down right here. So, that's cool with me. But, let's go ahead and spin our challenge wheel to start off with, see what we have to do. And hopefully it's nothing stupid. Give me an easy challenge. I would love an easy challenge for you today. Stab moves only. Actually, I will, I will take that, because that should be rather easy. And what, and, what, and what I can do to make this even easier for myself, I'm gonna Thunder Wave off the jump. What I'll do afterwards is I will Nightshade with um, Runarigus, because we can do that. Um, I don't know. Ah, that's a bad idea. User traps the target in a sparkling in a cage of sparkling electricity for four to five turns. I don't know if I should do that because I don't remember what my special attack is. 166. Uh, nah. Let's just let's just lob some ultra balls at it. Because the thing is that I want this Articuno to kill my Regulate. In order for this to really go to plan, <laughs> I can't really afford to switch out into anything else. And that just goes to show, in, from the previous episode, the freezing glare that killed me, the crit mattered. Because that one just did not kill me. So as long as this thing kills me, which it's struggling to do that, because of course, the one time that I wanted to kill me, it's not gonna. Because I can, I can go for a couple nightshades um, with Rodriguez, and then I can just literally sit there with Stunfisk. Like this is the most opportune time for us to be in a situation like this. Maybe I don't. Need, uh, I, I shouldn't say that. So maybe I don't need to go and stop this, but how much damage this thing is going to be doing with Hurricane and everything, I probably need to go stop this. Okay, that does about a third, which is fine. Psycho Cut, that's not going to do nearly as much as Hurricane. That is a crit, though. It doesn't make contact, though, so no Rocky Helmet damage. Alright. This is... Genuinely, this is probably the best spot we could be in right now. Because I don't need to worry about any hail. I don't need to worry about any of that. I can just stay here. I resist every move this Articuno has. So I can literally just sit here and throw Pokeballs at it. That's not ideal, because I don't... Now, I can... I can get Reggie Lucky back in. I can get Reggie Lucky back in. Because I'll outspeed, and if I have Stun Fisk out with the paralysis already on him, then I don't have to worry about Psycho Shift. So I just need to take a hit. That does quite a bit of damage, but that's fine. Go for the T-Wave. We land it. Alright, paralyzed. Like, what more do I need to do? You were paralyzed and in the yellow. And I'm not getting a shake? I was about to say, don't you dare. <laughs> Alright, freezing glare, that's gonna kill me. That's fine. Because now we go stun fisk and we literally sit there. Huh? 
Maybe I want. I'm curious to see how much a nest ball will do here. Okay, not really. Not really a whole lot there. Would you look at that? Would you look at that, guys? See? See how much easier it is? It's all we needed. Literally all we needed. Nothing more, nothing less. Send this thing to a box. And now we have to go and catch Moltres, which I have no idea if that's gonna be easy or not. I'm gonna go ahead and fly back to um, Freezing Tim though, so that way I can heal up my my team. And I think it's hard to say because we don't resist. We don't resist like anything that that Moltres is gonna have for us. Only thing that's gonna resist is gonna be our own Moltres, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to be careful. Especially because of Berserk. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to be careful because of Berserk. I remember when I caught him before, I caught him, like, literally right outside here in the dojo area. And I don't think this is, like, the wild area where there's gonna be electric terrain or whatever. So, I don't really know where he's gonna actually be. He's gonna fly this way or not. Trying to look and see if I can find him. Cause like I said, I don't I have no idea where he's gonna be. Oh, I see. he is all the way the fuck out there. What the hell? Why? You know what the sucky thing about this is, too? Is that right there. It's fucking torpedoes. Because this guy's just gonna encounter me because I can't go faster than him. But luckily... Sharpedo is not faster than Regulucky, so... I don't gotta worry about that. Why is he flying all the way around? I wonder if he stops at all. Well, hurry up, you stupid fucking bird, so I don't get attacked by a shark. I Man's just sitting here like, ah, I'm gonna get you, and then it's like, no, the shark's gonna get me. He's just over here fucking celebrating and shit. Hurry up. There we go. I'm like, I see another Sharpedo coming. I'm like, hurry up, man. All right. 
So we're gonna go ahead and Thunder Wave. We're not gonna miss. We don't miss here. Hurricane. He misses though. Big. Big. Um. This is risky. Risky, risky, risky. I really have no idea who I go into here to deal with this thing. I think he just needs to kill my Reggie Lucky. I think that's what we need to do here. We need to let that happen. I was half tempted the Thunder Cage. But I would rather just let him kill me. Because he doesn't kill me. I actually don't know how much Thunder Cage is going to do. I should have electro -lugged, maybe. Yeah, that does way more than I would like. And I gave him a Berserk boost. Yeah, that was a bad play on my part. Especially because, yep, he doesn't even... I'm curious, does the Thunder Cage go away if I switch out? Is it because it's like Whirlpool or Rap? Like if the user switches out, then it goes away? Because if that's the case, this is perfect for us. Okay, okay yes, that's exactly what it's like. Alright, this is actually optimal, a perfect situation for us. Oh my goodness, man. Had us, in the, had us in the first half, not gonna lie. But it's okay. For right now, it's okay. I swear that's gotta be like a trend. Not a trend. What's the word I'm looking for? That's like, excuse me, a routine. Like if you get three shakes, it feels like the next time you throw a ball, like, it doesn't take it off. That's gonna hurt. Gave me a berserk boost, but that's not okay. Because he... is super effective against two of my mods. I even get paralyzed. I guess fire wrap. Do I just sack? Do I just sack Reggie Lucky? Is that what I do? I don't know, but he keeps going for fire wrap, which is okay. I don't know what other I don't know what other attack he has. Sucker punch. Ooh. Ooh. Hurricane. Okay, misses again. Perfect. I wonder if an Ultra Ball is just going to be better in this situation. Maybe it is. No, it's not, apparently. Alright, if he keeps running through his Sucker Punches, then that's fine. I'm, I think my Ultra Balls are defective, because, like... again. Like, has any of the Ultra Balls even shaken? I don't think they have.
That's like the first one. That's like the first one that's shaken. I think I found like five. I don't know, I haven't really been keeping count. I've just been lobbing. It's like, stay caught. Like, what are we doing here? Yeah. Like that. Um. I'm gonna swap to Reggie Lucky because I'm not trying to lose this Moltres again. Because the other one is at plus five. Fiery Wrath is gonna kill me. Of course. Um. Yeah, we don't. I don't really have a whole lot. Fire Wrath is super effective against Cleopatra and Foster. Um, Shofu's gonna die to any of those moves. Uh, Frost Man, I don't know. I should go to Psycho for the sheer fact that it's got our highest special defense. But if this thing is gonna keep throwing these things at me. Because if it sets up if it sets up to plus six, then forget about it. We're not even gonna bother. Because we literally can't. It's gonna it's gonna kill me. And I would rather it not do that. So I'm just gonna go back to what's been showing more promise, more hope, and that's the nest balls. And now it's not gonna show us any promise. And now it's gonna nasty plot again. I'm gonna keep chancing it. I have to. This is so stupid. It's taken me so many hours just to catch these legendaries. I know my multi is dead. Again. Never mind. I'm actually surprised that did the exact same damage as it did before. Interesting. Interesting. But we're not... How much is... I need a paralysis, I need a miss, I need it to go for nasty plot again. I need I need one of those things. Okay. 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 Okay.
All right, so that's going to wrap things up for this video. Let me actually, because we, we got a reward, so. I don't know why it's not letting me... Oh, there we go. Now it wants to pop up. Alright. One free encounter doesn't really help us here. Just said that, and it's doing it again. All right, free evolution stone, which doesn't really help us in the slightest, but that's okay considering um, the next video should be the last one. So, go ahead and just put four. Whatever. All right, but if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that like button down below because it would be greatly appreciated. Um, and yeah, the next episode should be the finale of the series. So thank you guys so much if you've been watching up to this point. Um, it would be awesome if you guys 
are subscribed so you don't miss out on the finale of the of the series. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.